Registered dietitian Diana Steele joins us now. Thanks for coming in. Thank Good you. Good to having see me. you. Yeah. So we're going to talk about using um, juice instead of sugar in cooking. And mm -hmm. there's tons of stuff that requires or asks for sugar in the recipe. And can you always replace it with a, with a juice? Sometimes. I mean, you are adding liquid, so you can reduce the amount of sugar and possibly add some more flour, like I did with these muffins, these orange muffins that have cranberries in them, and there's actually pumpkin in there. So there's a combination of two cups of orange juice in 36 muffins um, with a whole tin of pumpkin. And what that does is adds in the sweetness without adding in the um, just sugar. Right. Now, orange juice, because juice is coming from an orange, one ingredient, you're getting a lot of nutrients that come with that. So I'd rather you have juice rather than having just pure just sugar. plain sugar. Because yeah. well, we, we tend to think that juice has a lot of sugar in it. Yes, but if you are looking at the ingredient list, you want to choose a juice that is 100% pure. So that means that there's only juice in there. So you could read the ingredients on here, and the only ingredient is pure oranges. Right. Um, so that's a like good no choice. no added sugar into that juice. That's right. Got if it. you have something that says fruit cocktail, fruit beverage, fruit drink, it's right. going to have sugar added. And there are lots of juices out there, but also the type of juice you choose. So an orange juice, for example, has a lower glycemic index, so it doesn't spike your blood sugars as much as, say, a grape juice or an apple juice. And it's also a lot more nutrient dense. So orange juice um, has about 120% of the daily value of vitamin C that you. Oh so wow! All the more vitamin than, C that you need. More than you need in yeah. one cup. That is. Um, so like one cup, 250 mils. Um, and then you also get potassium. Potassium helps to lower your blood pressure. Um, and vitamin C helps you absorb iron. So when you're having breakfast, if you you normally have a bowl of cereal and milk or oatmeal, but you don't have time to you know cut up the orange for your kids, for example, um, I'd rather they have a glass of juice than not having the fruit at all. Right. Because that vitamin C really helps you absorb the iron that's in the breakfast cereal. And without it, you're not going to absorb that non-heme iron. So I'm, I'm really a proponent of having you know, half a cup of pure fruit juice if you can't have the actual fruit itself. Right. Just a little bit of juice. Yeah, for the kids. So you could have a whole okay. cup. Yeah. So I've got a few different recipes that include a lot of, um, or include some orange juice in them. One of them is the overnight oats. And this is a really easy breakfast to make the night before because I always say there's no excuse why you can't have breakfast. I and know. so I'll let you do this one. Okay. And so this includes just one cup of oats and you can put it into the measuring cup. I find it easier to transfer into a jar when we have it in a measuring cup. Right. This is just coconut milk so you can add okay. that in. Uh, my kids love coconut milk actually. Uh, I do as well. It's yep. nice and thick and creamy. Okay. And then orange juice. So this is the Tropicana Pure this, Orange is Juice. Is this half a cup of orange juice? Yes, half a cup of each for those. Okay. And then um, you've got a spoon there. Mm -hmm. And then if you wanted to add a tiny bit of honey, you can. I don't think it needs it because we're also going to be adding in um, a lot of different fruit on top. But, but honey if, is a better option than, than refined processed well, sugar. It's easier to stir in. It's not particularly more nutritious. No? Sugar is sugar. It's about four calories per gram. I kid myself that it is. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you do. There's yeah. like maybe micronutrients I'll put more. A little but honey in here because I really like yeah, honey. Just a teaspoon then. Okay. All right. And then what it's going to look it's going to look like at the end is this beautiful oats. So what we would top it with after you've finished mixing it, you yep. would transfer it into your jar mm -hmm. and then put that put the lid on top and let it sit overnight. And then in the morning you can sprinkle on some toasted. Um, this is just coconut coconut, just dried coconut. There's no sugar added to this. And okay. I toasted it myself, so it comes bright white. Okay. Um, and then add some raspberries or whatever fruit your kids want or you want. And mm -hmm. you can even put the lid on that and take that to the office if you're rushed in the morning. So right. overnight oats. So you have these sitting in your fridge at all times for your kids? Well, not at all times, no. But if one day a week I would make overnight oats. And so right. then that would be the breakfast for that day. I made French toast this morning. I do different oh things. Gosh. Breakfast sandwiches. Um, I do. But it only takes, once you've done your recipe a few times, so you can get breakfast done in like 10 or 15 minutes. I okay. do it before I go to spin. It's something for me to aspire to. <laughs> Mark's laughing. <laughs> and then we have the smoothie. Now, this is a citrus tropical fruit smoothie bowl. And so instead of having a smoothie in a cup, which often we have, yes. um, you know, like the acai bowls, which are a little bit more frozen, um, and then you have different toppings, well, you can make them at home. And so this one is just a smoothie, so a beautiful frozen smoothie. Awesome. And then you can top it with some strawberries around the side. I have to use my fingers at home, you know. Right. <laughs> just in case you guys are going to eat this after. Maybe some sliced banana, and that would always add some nice sweetness to it as well. The smoothie that I made is just yogurt, frozen mango, frozen pineapple, and a banana. Oh, that sounds good. And delicious. then Tropicana orange juice. You're the best mom in the world. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and so then you've got your bananas, and then you can sprinkle on maybe some toasted coconut. We can do some toasted almonds. Oh, wow. Depending on 
Oh, Mark was going to eat that this looks, one. That looks like it, dessert. But there's no there's no nuts in there in we'll the save muffins. We'll some yep. free food, Mark. Don't worry. And these and are dried. Those are dried blueberries. My kids love dried blueberries. And then you could do some flax maybe over on this side. And sneak in some chia over on this right, side. Right, they won't even know, and it's so healthy. If they stir it all up. <laughs> yeah. So then you've got a beautiful smoothie bowl. That looks great. So that's one that's way. actually a big bowl of food. <laughs> well, yeah. Now that was yeah. a big that's my, a yeah. big bowl. So I would do a small bowl like that for the kids. Some great ideas. Yeah. Thank you, Diana. And then orange juice in um, a salad dressing. Orange juice and salad dressing, a great way to sweeten. And there's your contact information if you'd like some more information. Of course, uh, to cut out sugar, eatingforenergy.com. Some great ideas. We Thank really you. appreciate you coming in. Thank you for having me.